Okay, the, the, pop, uh, the situation in Iraq of Iraqi Jewry, and this isn't a field in which I'm uh, um, completely expert, um, but I know the general outlines. The situation of the Jewish community in Iraq, which had prospered uh, in the previous decades under British, essentially British rule, uh, was complex. Uh, the war itself generated popular anti-Semitic and anti-Zionist passions. Um, and the government, uh, either driven by these popular passions, the street, or um, uh, out of its own convictions, uh, essentially wanted the Jewish community of Iraq to emigrate. Um, but no um, order of expulsion was ever issued by the government. It's, uh, we have to be clear on this. They did not expel the Jews in the formal sense of issuing an order to leave. But what they did do, as I mentioned before, was a series of um, uh, measures uh, involving uh, massive discrimination, uh, punishment of the community, incarceration, and so on, uh, causing the Jews a sense of intimidation and of not being wanted any longer in uh, Iraq. And the 1941 pogrom, which occurred um, when the British troops were approaching Iraq, which was run by a pro-Axis government in April 1941, um, led to a massacre of Jews, somewhere between 100 and 300 Jews were massacred in Baghdad. Um, and this also left a, a sort of a cloud over the existence of Jews in Iraq. So you had the massacre, the pogrom of 41, uh, the events in Palestine, and a massive uh, popular reaction against what had happened, in fact, the Jewish victory and Palestinian defeat and uh, displacement translated into hostility towards the Jews by the government and the public uh, by 1950. Uh, all sides were interested in the Jews leaving, and Israel was interested in the Jews arriving and increasing Jewish numbers in Palestine, in Israel itself. Uh, so there was also a, a pull mechanism at work here. Bombs, a number of bombs exploded in Jewish sites in Baghdad in 1950, the most famous being the explosion of a bomb in a synagogue, um, something Shem Tov synagogue, that was the name of the synagogue, um, and uh, this left sort of a question mark uh, during the following decades, who had been responsible? Arabs and pro-Arab uh, writers charged that Israel, using Mossad agents in Baghdad, had instigated the bombing, a Mossad agent had thrown the grenade or two grenades into the synagogue in order to increase fear among Iraqi Jews and push them into immigrating to Israel. Uh, that was an Arab accusation. Um, Iraqi Jews, most of them, if you talk to Iraqi Jews or their descendants today in Israel, believe that that was how, what happened, that Israel had engineered the bombing in order to uh, get them to leave Iraq and move to Israel to increase Israel's Jewish population. Um, I found, about 15 years ago, um, a document in the archive, which was the report of a committee of investigation appointed by the Prime Minister of Israel in 1960. The bombing was 1950. Ten years later, Israel appointed a secret, secret commission of inquiry uh, headed by a Mossad senior executive, a Shin Bet internal security executive, and another official, three-man committee, which looked into the charge of Israel having, uh, um, or the Mossad having engineered this bombing in order to increase Zionism, if you like, among his, uh, Iraqi Jews. Why it happened in 1960? Because one of the chief agents of the Mossad had been arrested in 1950 by the Iraqis and kept in jail until 1960. So they waited until he was released from jail, came to Israel and could give evidence before they initiated this investigation. A man called Tajar. The commission found that despite the fact that Iraqi Jews who had immigrated to Israel continued to believe that Israel had engineered the bombing, the committee found that there was no evidence pointing to the Mossad agents having been ordered in Iraq or actually carrying out the bombing. 
I don't know whether this is conclusive, because it was an internal investigation, a secret investigation, uh, and carried out, in fact, partly by the bodies which were charged with committing the, the act. But it seems to me, uh, on the basis of this uh, inquiry, and on the basis of logic and my knowledge of the praxis of the Israeli institutions, that it wasn't carried out by Israel or its agents, certainly not by order of Jerusalem. Maybe somebody acted alone. It's also unlikely. Israelis do not throw bombs into synagogues. Uh, this has never happened anywhere. Uh, no, nobody has ever said it's happened anywhere, except in this specific case, it's extremely unlikely. More likely is that communists in Iraq at the time who were bombing various sites probably also threw this grenade into the synagogue in order to stir up all sorts of problems between uh, the Iraqi regime and its Jews, Iraq and the West, and so on. The, the uh, sort of a provocation uh, by Iraqi communists who were carrying out a bombing campaign at the time in various, uh, against various institutions in Iraq. That's the most likely explanation.